Welcome to a short video summary of the Philips 55 PUS8601. You can read the actual review by clicking on the link in the description. This is a higher-end Ultra HD 4K LED LCD TV that uses a flat 55-inch screen and retails for £1,700. The build quality is very good and the TV itself is nicely designed. There is an attractive stand with chrome feet, although you'll need a wide surface area on which to install it and of course it can't be swivelled. You do have the option to warm out if you prefer. Since this is a Philips TV, the 8601 also includes four-sided ambilight with LEDs along the top, sides and bottom. There is a one centimetre wide black bezel around the screen and detachable left and right speakers to improve the sound quality. These are plugged in at the bottom rear of the panel, although you can also buy optional speaker stands for them. Built into the rear of the panel are two subwoofers that are designed to improve the audio performance still further. Also at the rear you'll find all the connections, including rear-facing legacy connections and two downward-facing HDMI inputs and a USB port. There are also two more sideways-facing HDMI inputs and two more USB ports. HDMI 1 supports HDCP 2.2 and all the HDMI inputs support ARC. The 8601 comes with the latest version of Philips' dual-sided remote control, which is comfortable to hold and well laid out, although sometimes a little oversensitive. The TV includes hex core processing, and the Android Smart TV platform is well implemented and effective, as is the nicely designed and responsive menu system that includes a full set of calibration controls. And you can find our recommended picture settings in a separate video. The out-of-the-box grayscale was reasonably good, aside from a slight excess of red at 20 IRE. However, the gamma could have tracked better, ranging from 2.5 to 2.2 and then back up to 2.4. The white balance control allowed us to improve the grayscale slightly, but there was still a slight excess of red at 20 IRE and the gamma tracking was still uneven. The color performance was very good out of the box, aside from a slight hue error in red and some undersaturation in blue and magenta. The color management system allowed for some fine tuning and the overall errors were below the threshold of 3. The 8601 delivered a lovely looking picture with a natural image and plenty of detail. The backlight uniformity and video processing were impressive and the motion handling was good for an LCD TV. The 4K pound doesn't support HDR or 3D and is quite expensive compared to the current competition. But otherwise the Philips 55 PUS 8601 delivered a great all-round performance. You can read the actual review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.